This is not a painting tutorial. This is maybe more exciting. What we've got here, welcome to our little kind of retro y man cave. We've got Pachenko machines here, we've got pinball machines, we've got arcade machines. And this is a brand new arcade machine. This right here is Arcade One Up Star Wars. This is my childhood arcade memory. This was the one go to arcade game for me. And not only has it got the original Star Wars arcade game from 1983, but it's got the Empire Strikes Back, which was a an upgrade kit that came out for um, the original Star Wars cabinet. And it's also got Return of the Jedi. Now what makes this really special, and you're thinking, well you've got these arcade machines here, can't you just emulate it? Well no you can't, and that's the thing. It's got the yoke controller, which makes it really special. That is what I'm looking forward to most. And out of all the arcade machines that I played on as a child, this was the one that really stood out to me. It was actually like you was actually flying an X-Wing. Destroying the Death Star. Let's do it. Very well packaged. Very well packaged. Instructions on the top. So I've just unpacked the box and the first thing you realise is how small is this? Now it's worth saying that this particular version does come with a riser um, which takes it up to pretty standard arcade kind of height but look at that artwork, that artwork is stunning. So I've unpacked the side panels, the back panel, this was box three which is the riser uh, which gives it another couple of feet, easy gives it another couple of feet. Um, loads of random bags of screws and things and um, the instructions are all numbered, all the panels are numbered, the, even the boxes are numbered, one, two, three, four, etc. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward. It does say it takes about two hours. I've watched a few of the people who have, 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 have purchased these and built them and one thing they've said is that you have got to lay this down flat on the floor at a certain point. So I'm going to use some of the plastic bags that actually came with it to lay down protect it because it's quite dusty in this um, this man cave. It's a man cave. Bound to be dusty. Who cleans in a man cave? Not me. This is the monitor and it's got this protective sleeve on it. A few people have said how difficult it is to remove the um, protective film. Um, uh, loosening the screws is one sort of thing you can do to improve that. So that's the monitor. They've all got their own little sort of plugging points on them which is which is really good. Um, the light up marquee is its own little standalone unit as well, which is really good. And that's the same for the speaker panel, which is just over there. So I'm putting them bits to one side, we're not quite there yet. I'm just kind of going through all the individual boxes. There's four big boxes that come with it internally. Yeah, this is this is what really makes it stand out. You've also got the volume control on here and the on and off switch. And this particular version, this 2023, 22, 23 version, does come with an imitation coin door and the actual uh, coin uh, reject buttons do light up as well. So there's a power in on the back. You can't use it, but you know, it's there for show. And that's what this is. It's a, it's a, it's a monument to the original. Made a good start here. The instructions are really clear. <clears throat> this, this beats Ikea. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Every item's labelled. There seems to be, I don't want to tempt fate, but seems to be a few spares in there as well, uh, which is really cool. And yeah, it just seems to be very picture-based. Yeah, it's definitely um, a tip here is to loosen the screws around the bezel of the monitor and then this this protective film comes off with ease. Say hi to the YouTube channel. Hi. What's your YouTube channel called? Eight, Jacob's Adventures. Eight eight two. Make sure you subscribe for Jacob's Adventures. So it's kind of in its mini stage, so you can see the height of it so far. <clears throat> this is. This took about an hour. We get to where we are now, and uh, the last two big screws go in here which kind of holds this together. The tricky bit so far for the build was getting the marquee and the speakers on. Um, I did remove the perspex before I uh, 
put that on and that was a blessing so these two go in and then look at the instructions the next stage is to attach the control panel this was an absolute swine to get on just behind here is two blocks labeled j i believe and there's these round metal um positioning lugs and this one just would not fit so i had to basically put the wooden uh, blocks on before then attach them so that was it that has been quite the trickiest bit so far that getting the marquee and the speaker panel to line up was a bit tricky as well but we seem to be close now <laughs> the next job uh, in the manual is to do all the wiring so on the back of the monitor is the main power and um, it looks as though you connect the marquee to the top the speaker to the bottom the main power goes in here and then there's like a double adapter uh, which connects the coin door so i've constructed the riser now it tells you to put four screws in the bottom of the riser and drill and screw straight into this it, it, it clearly says in the instructions that there's no pre-drilled holes on this. I kind of don't want to do that. I want to see what it's like um, once it's in. So I want to move this into location. It's all geared up, ready to go now. So it's the big switch on. Too bad. Now it feels more like... Yeah, I mean, that fits pretty, pretty nice. It's in place. It looks great. It fits just nice there. Of course, we've got the two Star Wars Pacheco machines here, which just fit great. I've got a Star Wars uh, canvas on the wall as well. This is it. Switch it on. It's all plugged in. Power switch. Light up marquee. Great. Loading. It's a good start. Coin doors lift up as well. And there we go. Arca arcade one up logo. Nineteen eighty three. So three games. Let me have a beer. Here's to a successful build. Cheers. And here's to nostalgia. Now I want to leave the light on um, for the minute. So, volume up to 15 max, currently set to 10. This monitor is the new design monitor, and um, the blacks look really nice. So, if you're not sure what this game actually is, the original Star Wars was 1983, it was a Vector um, monitor, a bit like the Ve Vectrex, and it was a huge game. and there was a stand-up cab, which is what this was based on, and a sit-down cab as well. I have massive memories of playing on both of those. At the English seaside towns, we're talking Skegness, uh, Cleethorpes, Mablethorpe, even into Wales, Scarborough. And then Empire Strikes Back was released as a upgrade kit. Never saw that in the wild. Return of the Jedi was a later game that also came out. Um, which is not a vector based, that's more of a pixel based game. It was based on the same system, arcade system that used um, for classics like Paperboy and um, 360, the skateboarding game. But let's go straight into the, the main event here. Uh, you've got settings below here. So you can increase the amount of shield starting with eight. The difficulty is set to moderate. Um, track mode plays music and voice, great. Vector glow, you can alter the vector glow here as well. Reset high score, save and exit. Very responsive. Let's go straight in. Scar Wars. 
<laughs> Bit of instructions. Nice little cut scene. Right now, I'll touch it. Plus, I remember the speech that this game had. Turn the light off to help with reflections. <clears throat> Portrait good start. Good start, Danny Rod. So you got easy. <laughs> this just brings so much memories back. Uh, medium and hard, of course. Let's go for easy. Oh, wow. So, shooting the uh, hand fighters. Those stars that are coming towards us are their shots, so you can destroy them. And then, of course, we have the trench run. Um, because this is uneasy, wave one, you're just basically shooting the, the shots in the tower. And of course, when you get to the end of the trench run, you shoot the uh, exhaust port. Which is coming up in a second. Got it. And then of course it's in back. And then boom. Quite a simple game, but just playable. I mean, you've got to think in 1983, this was like playing. like flying a. like uh, an X Wing. Now you press all four buttons to quit. For a few seconds, back to the menu. And then let's try and fire strikes back. <laughs> exactly the same controls. It was basically a upgrade kit. <laughs> Different series, you do actually attack at at. Um, he from, could destroy us. We just want to do it. Again, we'll do easy. With me, I get the ground here. So, the first level is you shoot in the uh, droids from the start of Empire Strikes Back. And those little kind of lines that are going up are basically their signals being beamed to the uh, to the Empire. I'm sure Skywalker is with me. We can fire the material lock. From here you can fire the uh, the harpoons and take them down, which is the call. Chicken walkers as we call them. Your only chance to stop. You know it's not to be blue. Quite a playable game, actually. Watch the clock, Firefly. So now we're in the Falcon now. And we're defeating TIE Fighters. And very soon we'll end up going to the asteroid field. Star Destroyer. First time I've ever played this game. You see how we're collecting letters here as well. I'm down to one shield, shooting the asteroids, dodge the asteroids. Okay, but it did very well on that one. 20 seconds. Again, press all four buttons. to uh, exit and let's check out Return of the Jedi. Now this is a, a pixel based game. Now at the minute it's just 
Pixel art, we're going to send the scan line on to make it look more like a CRT. Watch out. Wait for me! So they're there and you're dodging the trees and shooting. Or you pull back, which is which is great. You can shoot forward, pull back. Of course, if you go through the Ewoks traps, they will help you defeat the guys. Quite all crash into a tree. <laughs> Oh, tricky. Oh, man. Game over, I imagine. No, no, no. No. <laughs> I'm not very good at that one. More practice is required. I'm just going to try the comparison. I'm going to quit the game. And then we're going to go into the settings for that one. And we're going to put the scan lines on. So mix it. Scan lines, if you're not sure, basically replicating a CRT, an old school monitor. Let's have a look how that looks. I think I prefer it. The security deflect machine will be deactivated when we have confirmation of your code transmission. Leave them to me. Deal with them. Go for help. I see them. Wait for me. It's a bit of a strange line effect, actually. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. So you can push the speeders. <laughs> Very difficult this to dodge those trees. Made it. R2D2. He walks out a little dance then. Oh, this is cool. So this is the uh, this is the run from where we're trying to destroy the uh <laughs> no, destroyed. <laughs> destroy the death star. The hard thing about this is that not only do you have to go forward and destroy the Death Star, but then you've got to, go, you've got to fly away before it blows up. And it's it's harder to fly out than it is to fly in. That's my memories. I've not played this for many years. We're going to make it today with another story. Nope. Try again. Two lives. Go for the power regulator on the north power. So now you've got to escape. Now, this messes with your mind because you're basically playing. Backwards and see, it's not, it's not easy. Not easy. Leveled. <laughs> there you go, that's basically it. Now, the vector graphics on a CRT, so a vector monitor with lots of thin lines, uh, which is what the first two games are. Now, the problem is trying to replicate that can be quite difficult. So, they've put a few options in, um, which I'd, li I'd like to try and show you. So, standard glow. Bold, bright, sparkle, none. Let's try sparkle. See what that's like. Making sure I did it on the right one just then. <laughs> Let's see the difference between standard and sparkle. Mm, it's like a pixelated. Mm, not sure. Not sure. Let's quit. I 
and let's change that to change it to bold. Love the cutscene. That's quite nice. We're well, probably fairly right. So you have to dull the screen a bit, though, I think. That's a pinball machine that's jumped in over there, that's that noise in the background. Use quite like this one, so that was set to uh, that was set to bond. Let's let's change it. Let's try bright. You can just see like a haze around it. I've tried to play this game many times in things like Main and I've got arcade cabinets, but it's just not, it's not the same game. And I mean, this yoke is what makes it. <laughs> I remember playing it on my old Amstrad CPC computer. Back in the 80s. I quite like this one, this one is it's bright, it's got a nice glow. Shine a million. 